Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, is supposed to speak at the G7 today. But that in and of itself is the culmination of a couple of actions this past week that show us what a massive fraud he is. First of all, Vladimir Zelensky submitted an application to join NATO. That in and of itself is not necessarily big news. He submitted an expedited application to join NATO, meaning he wants to be a member of NATO now so that NATO countries are required to fight the Russians on his behalf. And Matt, do we have this video of him signing this expedited application? This, this video is like a really strange, weird video. So they're speaking in Ukrainian, there's no subtitles. So you can see Vladimir Zelensky standing out in a street He's flanked by two people. There's a desk in front of him. On the desk is a piece of paper. He's signing this piece of paper. It's obviously the application for the expedited application for NATO membership. And he's making this a show. Like what? I know this guy was an actor before he was a politician and it's never been more clear. This is a really weird thing to do. He thinks he's the star of his own movie. But think about what this would mean. Think about what it would mean if Ukraine joined NATO. You'd be going to war for sure. You'd be conscripted and you'd have to go fight the Russians over a border dispute in Ukraine. This, it blows my mind that the United States Congress, which is sending so much money to Ukraine, looks at this and doesn't see it for what it is. Doesn't see that this is not, this is not the patriotism of a man who loves his country. No, this is a guy who also wants a forever war in his country. He wants to be funded by the United States. He wants to snap his fingers and demand billions of dollars and he wants the American Congress to send it to him. This is a corrupt dude. Remember going back several months we saw indications that this was the case. We saw indications that Zelensky was willing to not only draw the United States into a direct war with Russia, because I would argue right now we're kind of just fighting a proxy war with Russia. If I'm Vladimir Putin in Russia, I feel like I'm fighting the United States because the United States is funding Ukraine's war efforts. I wouldn't be able to disassociate that if I were Vladimir Putin. I would feel that I was fighting the U.S. The U.S. is fighting with the Ukrainians. But we're not directly, our military is not on the ground with the Ukrainians. We are not the ones killing Russians directly. We are just giving Ukraine the tools to do that themselves. But Zelensky, that was never good enough for Zelensky. Zelensky wanted us to be right next to him and he proved that. 